Hey Air Signs, this is going to be your daily reading for June 17th, okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm just going to light my incense really quick. It smells so good. I'm using the Dragon's Blood uh, incense from Satya. Love, 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 love it. Love that brand. It has highly fragrant incense. It's what I love to use every morning, every day of my life. I'm addicted to incense. I have like two drawers full. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Some moon rising in Venus. <clears throat> right. Just to let you guys know, I barely started going on Instant Go. So if you guys have quick questions or anything like that, you can find me there. I'm under Fire Witch Tarot. Okay. For those of you who just want to get like quick questions there, or all my pricing is on there as well. Of course, you can hit me up for a private reading. Everything is down below in the description box. Okay. And on Instagram. <clears throat> Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for all my current subscribers and my future subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. All right, let's see. You got Judgment Reverse, Ace of Swords. Someone's going to be speaking their truth or they don't know whether or not to tell you the truth. The chariot reversed. Yeah, they're not making the... Someone's not making the decision to speak their truth or tell it like it is to someone. Could be with the Cancer or an Aquarius, another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I'm feeling it. It's more like you. Where you are not making the final call or judgment or decision to tell someone like it is. You're in hermit mode. You're thinking about doing it but you're not you're procrastinating someone is procrastinating speaking their truth speaking their mind nine of pentacles could also be with the capricorn taurus or virgo this is you're dealing with someone who um is doing well financially okay you're on it someone's at a nine not at a ten yet but nine is still good okay someone's probably just uh, taking their time working on their money you could be a uh, someone who works from home and you've just been really really focusing on work and your money okay I'm seeing that someone is really working on their money too you or someone you know is you're wondering why they've been distant from you or hiding it's because they're working on the money could be someone who's self-employed has their own business Works from home or works in an office or something in the AC. <laughs> Six of Cups. <clears throat> Six of Cups here. Look at that. You could be receiving, uh, you could be missing somebody's touch, is what I'm seeing here. You could be missing someone, like I said, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you're used to how they are or maybe you're just very giving you have enough to give You're someone who who likes to give gifts and Receive them or someone's gonna be coming in to offer you something Okay Maybe offer commitment and they don't know how to tell you Someone's very shy as well could be dealing with someone shy Queen of Wands could also be an Aries Leo or Sag. This is somebody who is highly ambitious, knows what they want, and they go after it and gets it. Okay, could also be someone coming back from the past. Could be a fire sign as well. Someone is giving someone a bouquet of flowers. Maybe there's a birthday or whatever. Or you're thinking about sending somebody flowers and you're not sure yet how they're going to respond to that. Could it be a co-worker too? Or someone you haven't seen in a while? 
Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone is struggling. The other person is struggling as well. You know, maybe you were working hard or hardly working is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> I'm seeing this could be the other person's energy. You see that this person is could be struggling a little bit, but that's when you come in. Maybe you're going to offer them help and money or just give them an offer of money, but you don't know how to approach them because you're not sure if they're going to take it the wrong way, perhaps. Okay, let's do some clarifiers. Where's the Virgin Gemini? Some of you are, are could be thinking of going back to an old job from the past as well. And you're gonna come in. You're gonna come in, speak your truth, or you're thinking about speaking your truth about something, but you're not sure how to approach it as well. That could also be another scenario. You want to, but then you don't. It's what I'm saying here because you're like, do I really want to put myself back into that situation if it's regarding work? We have the moon reversed. Someone's being sneaky. Someone's holding secrets. You know something that someone else doesn't know and you're and you're holding it back. Maybe holding back information. Someone's holding back information. Could be a relationship or with a job, business maybe, perhaps. I'm seeing someone is doing well financially, just being home and making money on the side. Or maybe someone's going to be getting some money regarding a lawsuit. And then we have the Knave of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Someone who is not really good with commitment. Maybe they they don't do so good with commitment. Okay, maybe you're just all about one night stands right now. And if you're the type of person who's all about just one night stands, maybe the other person fell in love with you or whatever. And you're like, look, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but it's just sex. I don't feel anything for you. That could also be a scenario. And then we have the hanged man or the hanged woman. <laughs> Someone is, huh? I don't know. There's two men here. You could also be dealing with two men, third party situation. One of them has his penis in her mouth. The other one is inside her coochie. So <laughs> you could be sleeping with one person and thinking about the next. And uh, you could be waiting for someone or someone's waiting for you. Or you're trying to sacrifice something to go see this person. Yeah, this is an unstate. This could also be someone who's in a relationship who's open. Open relationship too. For some of you. Not all of you. I, take, I see different multiple scenarios here because there's a lot of you. So I say multiple messages that come to me. I see many of them. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands reversed. Someone wanted to end this relationship because it was just too much for them to handle. It was becoming a burden or whatever. Okay. Maybe this relationship was just too uh, aggressive or burdened. Maybe someone was very abusive. Physically and verbally. If you're in a physical abuse, please get out of it. You don't want to be with this person. Or a boy. That's what I call men who like to hit women. Boys, cowards, pieces of shits. You don't want anybody in your life like that. Then we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Mm -hmm. Getting out of conflict with someone. I see a lot of fire energy. 
a lot of uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Of course, they were Gemini. So the Ten of Swords reverse could be could mean that you want to have really rough, hot sex with someone, or maybe you the type of person who fantasizes a lot about the significant other, and you jack off or you masturbate to them. You know, mental fantasies as well. And you're like really wishing you could be with them and then you. Could also be another scenario. Yeah, one more card. Okay, then we have the Five of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay. Romanticizing about somebody or maybe you're dealing with someone who's really sweet for some of you you're you're in a relationship or just like dating someone who's really sweet someone who looks up to you someone who treats you like a queen you see how he's like massaging her feet and everything and you're just like eh, you know with your tits popping out and everything you guys are having fun playful energy you could go to their house or them you just walk around naked and flirt and get it on and just enjoy each other too for some of you. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, Air Science, this was your daily for uh, June 17th and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.